So it's Saturday morning. What is it, May 2nd? May 2nd. May 2nd. Salmon season just opened. Salmon did just open. Going for a nice little stroll in the bay. So we're just out here fishing uh, San Francisco Bay. Got on a Calissa 110 minnow. Glow sardine. Say leader. Where's that gap at? Let me see that gap. I'm not going to be close to this. It's all good. I don't even care. I'll do it for you here. Come on, brother. How's it feeling? So, just walking. Oh, well, you know, just hanging out. Feels like a good fish. All right. Just taking my time here. Yep, we're out here in beautiful Bay Area. This is brand new Daiwa Saltist. What, 4,000 series? So, so 3,000. Sure. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> hold on. Oh, beautiful. Hold on, hold on. The keeper. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> there. Yes. Hold the hook up. Hold the hook up. Let me see. Yeah, baby! That's oh, how it's done. Brother. Right on, dude. Look at that. That's like a freaking, I don't even know, 30 incher? That's, that is sick. Look at that. Check that out, guys. Beautiful out here, man. Uh, we're gonna measure him up, but this guy's definitely- Get a picture of me. Off of the Kalissa. That is freaking sick, guys. Let me turn this around. You can get that. It's just deadliest cast on there. Beautiful. <laughs> Hold that real quick. That's in the way. Now we gotta dispatch him. Dude, I wanna measure that's a nice size, bro. I tell you, oh, I, I don't gotta get out there. I don't play around. Right on, man. Pliers. Dude, ready in five minutes? Uh, that's my my fifth cast. I gotta get out there. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Eddie, there these are pads. Can I gaff my own fish too? Yeah. Let's see. Twenty-five. I say twenty-six, twenty-seven. Dude, 29. 29. <laughs> First time fishing from shore in, I don't know, wow. From, oh. That's a nice size, dude.
Now, I must bleed you. Thank you for your service. First time bringing the Greg Silks rod out in over five years. That, my friends, is the deadliest cast. Good night. Little red wine. Look at that red wine. Uh, all right. You see me? Am I in the middle? In the center? Okay. So, all right, guys. So, we had an excellent trip today. We we're out fishing in San Francisco Bay. In less than five minutes, I got hooked up on a beautiful California halibut. And right now, I'm going to show you guys how I fillet these fish. Um, there's numerous ways to do it. I even showed my daughter how to do it. We'll do that in a future video, but right now I'm going to show you how, how exactly I'm going to cut this thing up. It's very important that you keep your fish on ice. As you can see, it's well in there. Okay. This fish has been on ice since I caught it this morning. So let's bring this fish up. Okay. Take a look at that. It's a beautiful specimen. Let's bring it up. Let's put it on, on the cutting area. Okay. Beautiful fish. Okay. What I have here is a, is a bubble blade. It's a seven inch tapered fillet, tapered flex. So as you see, there's a line right here in the body. It goes straight down the body, okay? That's where the spine's at. This is the belly right here. So we're just gonna make a simple cut. Right around here, you feel it's really soft. This is the belly, okay? We're gonna try to, just try to avoid that and cut straight down, okay? Just like that, kind of cut around it. And we're gonna bring this right up this way. Very important that you have a really sharp knife, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here is now that I got it open, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make my tail cut, okay? It's beautiful. So now I'm gonna get my knife. I'm gonna follow this line right here. See this line right here? I'm just gonna follow this line, okay? I'm gonna come down, follow that line. A little bit of pressure and bring it down okay just like that and this is one of the simplest ways to cut it okay there's numerous ways you can fillet this thing but this is a simple almost fail proof all right so now that you have that cut when you get your blade don't be afraid to put a little bend in the knife a little flex you start that cut you're gonna peel you're gonna peel the meat off the bone here off the body and just don't be afraid to put a little bend as you see i'm just going to scrape right along the body you want to hear that a little clicking noise that's when you know you're pulling the meat off okay perfect look at that continue okay Perfect fillets, look at that. Look how easy that blade knife pulls that meat right off. Like I said, once again, this is a seven inch tapered flex from Bubble Blade. That's one whole fillet. We're gonna set it down on a separate cutting board. Now I'm gonna get the fish. I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. And I'm gonna start the other cut. You see? Okay, I'm gonna go in here, wherever that tail cut's at. I'm gonna look for that spine area and work my way down. Moving the camera. I'm gonna work my way down, and the same thing. I'm gonna scrape the very tip of that blade right along the spine and the bones, and slowly start to peel away all this beautiful halibut meat. Okay. Look at that. And all you're doing is just you're separating the meat from the actual body from the bones. That's why it's important to have a knife that has a good, has good flexibility. You can do this, okay? So you don't lose all that precious meat, okay? Look at that. This was a female. This was a little bit of the eggs, a row, okay? Some people like that in scrambled eggs. Two fillets, okay? So now, we're gonna turn this fish over the green side this is the side that 
that is exposed to the surface and above and it's laying down, getting ready to ambush your swim bait, your lure, your live bait, whatever it is. It's, it's very camouflaged. You get your bait fish comes up right in front of it and he just opens his mouth. He's got really sharp teeth. If I don't hurt myself by opening it. You can see, see those teeth? I don't see it. Look at those teeth. Super sharp, okay? That's what gets your, your live bait, all that other stuff, okay? So now I'm gonna try to take some of this slime off. Just like that. It gets in the way. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get a paper towel. Try to wipe some of this extra slime off. Okay. Just so you guys can see what you're looking for, okay? Okay, so the same thing. Here's the belly. I'm gonna just cut around it. You can feel where it goes into. Okay. I'm gonna do the same tail cut. Okay. And if you look closely on the halibut, there's a line here. What's this one? It's hard to see. But sharp it cuts the scales right off this thing now that it's off just cut straight down okay and the same thing you're gonna just start peeling this meat away cut this fin off kind of gets in your way like that you start your cut get in there and start putting the tip of that blade right in there So now that we got that other for layoff, you see where the center line goes? That's like their spine right there, okay? You need, same thing, get that tip of the knife, put it in there, you start your cut, okay? Start it in there, hold a little flap up, start scraping, okay? Okay, now it's another beautiful filet. Look at that, prime California halibut. You go to the store, Whole Foods or one of those markets, you're paying well over 25 bucks a pound for this stuff. Okay, so there you go. This is what's left of the halibut. Okay, you can see most of the meat, 95% of it's all came off. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut open into the belly area and I want to see what it's in, what the halibut has been eating. Let's check its stomach, okay? All right. Okay, here's the stomach. Who wants to see what's in there? Okay. 
What is that? It's like a rock. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Something in there. Let's see what it is. Take back one. Okay. Let's see what's in there. Another rock. I likes rocks. I think that's it. She was hungry. She was hungry. Two rocks. All she had in there. And she thought it was something else. A couple rocks. One, two, three, four rocks. There it goes. Look at that. Just rocks. Who knows? This thing was hungry and I don't know what happened. But, yeah. Super weird. Never seen that before in my life. You know? Take the halibut cheeks out. Took a bonus cut here on your halibut. meat too okay it's the cheeks okay let's turn this fish over okay just so you the cheek out This meat is really good. Halibut cheeks, oh my god. It's like a scallop. Really? No, put the camera on me. That's right. All right guys, so there you go. I showed you how easy it is to fillet these things. I hope this helps you guys. Make sure you guys get just a really good fillet knife. Nice, sharp fillet knife. These are pretty good right here, these bow blade. This is a seven inch tapered flex. Really excellent knife, really flexible as you can see right here. A lot of bend to it, really sharp. Sharp enough to pull that out. And there you go, okay? So until next time, keep watching Deadliest Cast Fishing. Right, so extra bonus here. I'm gonna do a mango halibut ceviche. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with chopping all this stuff up and showing you what's in there. So pretty simple. And uh, slide this over so you can see it. Ceviche today. Got some green onions, got cilantro, got limes, got a cucumber, mango. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. So let me chop all this stuff up. And uh and of course the halibut. And, uh, I'll show you what to do next. Alright? Alright, so I'm gonna chop all this stuff up. And we're gonna use my favorite knives that I got from my good friend Ray. The Pokemon. Really sharp knife here. Yeah. stuff up. You want to have enough lime to kind of cover this fish. This isn't a big batch of bacon. It's enough for appetizer.
then just for fun, and a little cheat, you don't have to cut more stuff up. And add some, some people that got you on there. All super colored. can put some, some peppers in there, some serrano peppers or jalapenos if you want. Um, I normally don't because I like it as is. And I add hot sauce on it afterwards when I'm eating them. It's just uh, those style are my chips. All right, so I'm gonna cover this up. Thing up. I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours and we'll be good to go. All right, so it's been about two, two and a half hours since we had the, the ceviche sitting in lime. Just undo this plastic here. See the color, the ceviche has changed completely. Now that it's all white, it's fully cooked. Yeah. Fresh cod by yours truly. So let's put this down. Okay, got some uh, got some wonderful tortilla chips from La Tapatia in South San Francisco. If you guys, you guys don't know, you gotta check this place out. They got some really good stuff. Some great carnitas. And the chips are off the hook. Everything's good there. We have salsa. Guacamole, all that stuff. I'm gonna grab a couple of these bad boys. A spoonful of this stuff here. All right. All I do is just uh, put them on the chip. I like using this this Cholula hot sauce. It's really good. But this one I discovered in, when I was in Baja. It's actually called Captain. It's just, it's just Capitan Gourmet. So being that I'm a captain, a little captain sauce on there. Okay. First taste test. All the flavors you get out of the mango, cucumbers, cilantro, green onions. Right. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'll put links so you guys can get this stuff on my YouTube the video in the description it's gonna be in my Amazon store so go ahead and grab yourself some of that mm -hmm. of course the longer this stuff sits in this lime juice it's gonna get better and better you know I can't describe it. The best fish out there. That's why I got it on my arm. You guys can see. One of my favorite fish to catch and eat, obviously. So, until next time, guys. Mm. Wow. Hope you guys can hear me crunching. This is bomb. Until next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got more videos coming. Um, definitely try to get another one of these for sure, but I will be doing trips really soon. So if you want to come out, do some fishing with me, hop on the boat, 
get some halibut to take home. You guys can make your own ceviche or fish fry, whatever you want. Hit me up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later. Good. Hope this makes you guys hungry.